Hello and welcome to this video. Today we are going to be learning how to describe location using a grid reference system. And a grid reference system is a fantastic way to talk about location, where something is. Instead of saying, oh, well that tree is to the right a bit and it's up a bit, I could say that tree is at 4, 3. And this is what grid coordinates will look like. So you'll have in a bracket two numbers. Two if we're talking about a two-dimensional space, three if we're talking about three dimensions. But we're only going to worry about two dimensions now. So up and down and left and right. The first one is always going to be the left and right one. The second one's always going to be the up and down one. Or the first one's always going to be the x-axis. And the second one's going to be the y-axis. An easy way to think of it is like this. I've got these coordinates, 5, 10, and I need to work out where exactly that is. So the first step we need to do is to move a ladder to where we are. Now imagine you're a little person, and you need to move a ladder before you start to climb it. Now you, you can't climb the ladder first. You then can't move the ladder after you, that would be very unsafe, and you, you just can't do it. So you need to walk over and put your ladder down first. So I'm gonna walk over to five, put it down, and then I'm going to climb. How far am I going to climb? I'm looking at my second number there. I'm going to climb up 10, and there is my coordinate, 5, 10. And that's really all there is to it, to finding a location given by a coordinate. But what if we see something like this? This is a Cartesian plane. Now, this is exactly the same, except we have negative numbers as well. So if we go to the left, our numbers are going to go negative, the right positive, up positive, down negative. Zero is in the very middle. Zero, we call that our origin point because that's where everything starts. And it's exactly the same here. If I have negative three, two, I have first walk over to negative three. So I walk to the left to negative three, put my ladder down and walk up to, there's my point. Same if I have something like this, four, negative three. I will walk to four, put down my ladder and I'm actually climbing down this time, a little bit crazy and I go down to negative three. What if you're asked to find the coordinate of a dot, a point? Well, it's the same process. So we've got this one here, and I need to know what I call this point. Okay, so I first look at how far across it is, and it's one, two across, so it's gonna be two something, and then I wanna find out how far up it is. So it's one, two, three up. So this coordinate we can call two, Three. And that's really all there is to it, to describing the location using coordinates. So in this video, we have learned how to use grid references or coordinates to describe location. We've looked at how to find a point or name a point. So remember, you need to put the ladder down before you start climbing it. 